I'm really inspired by large things, large machines, large stretches of time, large objects that are hundreds of thousands of light years across. Astronomer Sandra Faber's windows to the world are majestic telescopes that reveal the intricacies of galaxy formation and the beauty of the stars. Not only do I like tangible things, big things, impressive things, but I'm also drawn to subjects about which very little is known. As I entered graduate school, nobody could tell me where a galaxy came from. One of the great burning questions of the time was, why are there ellipticals versus why are there spirals? Faber soon replaced her why with a how. Using wavelength spectroscopy, Faber and colleague Robert Jackson measured the visible light from elliptical galaxies. And we plotted the speed of motion versus the brightness. When you look at its observed brightness then, you can deduce how far away it is. So we had overnight a new way of measuring distances to galaxies much more accurately than anybody had before. This first and noisy scaling rule set the stage to measure elliptical galaxies in the future. And now we know a whole bunch of scaling laws for galaxies, and in a nutshell, they have been absolutely crucial to establishing the cold dark matter theory of galaxy formation. The most basic question that we haven't answered yet is are we common or are we rare? Engine start, one, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. And the key step in answering that question is gonna be exoplanets. Is the solar system rare or is it common?